Thanks for joining me. I hope you are doing well. Today I am going to be opening up a 2021 Top Series 2 Baseball Giant Box. They call it a Giant Box. Not a Mega Box, but a Giant Box. Um, super excited um, to open this up. I've had this sitting on my shelf for about, I don't know, maybe three weeks now. And um, yeah, it's just been very tempting to open it, but um, I decided to, to wait for a special occasion. Um, let's see, today is Friday, what is today? July 30th, <clears throat> so today's the trade deadline. And so I wanted to save it for the trade deadline because I knew that I was going to be sad today. Um, sad and excited um, because of the trade deadline here. And I'm a, I'm a big Cubs fan. And so I knew that the day, this day was going to come and that uh, we were going to <clears throat> get rid of a lot of great core players that helped us <clears throat> excuse me, here, break the curse um, back in 2016. Um, so if you're new, oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Um, if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I open up my cards really slowly. Um, this hobby is an expensive hobby, and I like to savor the process of opening cards because I don't get to open up a lot of cards, and so, you know, and I feel very blessed and fortunate when I do get to open up cards. And so, um, I just wanted to preface that so that you don't think, like, dude, what's taking this guy so long? Why is he talking so much? Why is he so slow at opening his cards? That's just the way I like to open cards. Like I said, this hobby is expensive, and I want to enjoy it. So, uh, yeah. So, let's get open in here. So, oh, um, this is the uh, hard the Walmart version of this product. As you can tell, it's got some royal blue parallels in here. And, oops, okay, I don't know what happened there, but I was trying to turn off my notifications, go into airplane mode, and then my phone stopped recording. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is the Walmart version. So we got the royal blue parallels. You get, it's a 16 by 16 product with 256 cards on average. And um, we're looking for these home run challenge cards. Here's some information on this set if you want to pause it and take a look. But yeah, I mean, there's no like mega, I'm sorry, not mega box, giant box exclusive. It doesn't guarantee you um, a card or anything. And the, the cool thing about this is that <clears throat> people are saying that these giant boxes are a better deal than um, hobby boxes. I think like a hobby box costs maybe like 80 to like 100 bucks. And so uh, you can get two of these and people are saying that they're getting just as good hits and twice the amount of, you know, base cards. And so um, that's the cool thing about these giant boxes here. All right, so we've got a blue parallel in here. So we've got Stanton here from Mio Reyes. It's interesting. Reyes here. I mean, the Indians are doing pretty good. Or I should say the Guardians are doing pretty good. Um... And so, I don't know, I, th I think a lot of it's going to rely on Reyes here. If he can, if Vermeil here, if Vermeil can just continue to be really good, I think he's, that's going to be super helpful for the Indians here. Diaz. And Adbert Azale. I like Adbert Azale. I'm a Cubs fan. And so, even though he is, like, what I don't know what his record is, like 4 and 11 right now. Dude, that's really good experience for him. Um, I think he's going to go into the offseason and figure out how to get out lefties. 
and develop another pitch, and I think he's going to be solid. Severino. Xander Bogarts. Trevor Rosenthal. Alex Cobb. Ooh, this card's backwards, and it's numbered, and it's Matt Foster. Rookie card. I think this guy's like a, not a starter. Yeah, I mean, dude, that's pretty good. Well, he might be a starter. Last year was 6-1 and one and pitched a bunch of innings for seven games. No, wait, no, he played 23 games, 28 innings. Okay, no, he's a reliever for sure. That's cool. Rookie card. A gold rookie. That's numbered. I would take that any day. All right. And then we've got Sean Murphy here with his gold cup. Blue parallel. That's awesome. That's a great card. Holy cow. Yeah. These are already like two really good cards. <clears throat> that corner is a little white. But that's okay. That one too. Not numbered, but still. Nice card to have. We got Joey Votto here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to move my pile around a little bit since I have 16 packs to open. Right, Garrett Crochet rookie card. <clears throat> and Crochet should be a solid pitcher. He's got a crazy fastball. Ooh, okay, get Kyle Hendricks for the PC, followed by Alan Dickerson, Dwight Smith Jr., and Air Cosmer, who probably will get traded by the end of today. And uh, I just want to warn you guys, this video is going to be long. It might be a two-part video. Because, um, like, I mean, it takes me, like, 20 minutes to open up a blaster or a, or a mega box. And so this is a giant box. So it's probably going to even take me longer than that. Jonathan Villar. Ooh, Shane McClanahan. That's pretty good. Hopefully he continues to do well. Let's get that over with the rookie right here. Hassan Kim, man, he's kind of, I think he's batting like 200 right now, and so he's got to figure it out. Plus, who did that? Who did they just pick up? I'm blanking out on who they just picked up, but they are stacked in the middle infield right now. So we'll see if he um, gets any more opportunities. Johan Ramirez. Followed by Luan Diaz, Ty Buttery, Kevin Kramer, Ooh, Tommy Lestella. I forgot that he's on the Giants. He did really good last year. Oh no, I lied. He did really good back in 2019. Man, that was so long ago. Lestella. Here we got Will Castro. I'll put him in with my rookies since that card's got a gold cup. Noah Syndergaard. Come on, Noah. Man. Man. I totally forgot how bad he was. Well, how good slash bad he was in 2019. Man, let's... I hope the best for him. Hope he comes back in those well. Yelich, who's not doing that great. Nick Markakis. Kevin Newman. Carson Kelly. JT Riomuto. And Chris Bryant. All right, since we got a KB, let's talk about KB here for a second. I'm going to miss him. Um, in a... In my opinion, I wish, well, not my opinion, this is my desire here. My wish is that 
the Cubs keep Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo. I think those two guys are... We're going to get way better return on those two guys than we will um, anybody else if we sign them. Um, but Chris Bryant will no longer be a Cub by the end of today. Um, my guess, let me see, out of all the trades so far, I think the Padres... Are, gonna, are feeling a lot of pressure right now, especially with what the Dodgers just did. The Dodgers just picked up um, freaking Trey Turner and Matt Scherzer. Holy cow. And I think the Dodgers kind of know that, this, that adding those two guys are going to help them. And... So now the ball is in the Padres court and let's see if the Padres are willing to part with some of their key pieces. They have like a I would say that the Padres have like a top top 10 system for sure. Maybe top 5 system. Eh, let's say 6 or 7 system best system in the league. And so we'll see what they're willing to give up. But I think they're going to need Chris Bryant in the outfield. Um, and they're also going to need Kimbrel, um, just to kind of help out, but we'll see what happens. It's going to be an interesting day. Jonathan Aruas, Arouse, Arouse, Julian Merriweather, Mickey Maniac, who is, I think, still in the minors, but he's doing much better now. Dalton Jeffries. Dalton Jeffries. This guy I like. Um, he is no Jesus Lazardo yet, but hopefully he can get there. Put him in my PC pile since I'm going to PC rookies. Steve uh, Chisik. Chisik. Carlos Martinez, Sandy Alcantara, good guy. Ooh, here we go, Brian Hayes. Brian Hayes, that's awesome. This is probably the premier rookie card you're looking for in Series Two. From Valdez. Oh, look at that. Oh man. Oh, why'd you do this to me? Oh, man. I'm going to miss you, Riz. You were... The thing I love about Riz is he's very positive. Um, well, what are some of the things I love about Riz? Um, great defensive glove. Super positive. A great teammate. Um... You know, he chokes up um, when he's got two strikes because he just wants to get a hit or get on base. You know, he just wants to add value to the team. And that's what I'm going to miss about you, Riz. All right. You know, he was, he's been a Cub for the last 10 years. And so he was there when they were like, when they lost like 101 games. And then like four years later, they won the World Series. Like, that's huge. He's been through the ups and downs, and that's why I want the Cubs to re-sign Riz this offseason. Um, you know, we don't need to make him the highest paid first baseman in the league, but let's let's give him just maybe a little more money than he deserves because he's been through the ups and downs. And so he can definitely help out this young team and just encourage them to... Just keep doing well. To just keep trying hard and hopefully he'll see the Cubs, you know, kind of rise again. I mean, I look at like, um, I'm going to sleeve this card because I like it. It's going into my PC. It's almost like a Justin Turner for the for the Dodgers. Manny Machado. Clint Frazier. 
Nathan, Evaldi, Brandon Belt, Jermaine Marquez, he should be moved soon, and Tyjon Walker. Back to Riz. I see him as, you know, you need that veteran bat that and that veteran leadership in your in your club to just help out the young guys and just to kind of set the bar for the rest of the team and just kind of like what Justin Turner does Ooh, we got a rainbow foil here and it looks like two inserts and I think that's what Riz can do Riz is like a Justin Turner um, better than a Justin Turner and I think he'll maintain his numbers and in the end be a better player than Justin Turner. But like I said, you just need that veteran on your team. Trevor Bauer, good luck to him. Taylor Widener. Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia. This guy. I'm going to sleeve him up. I like this guy. Plus he plays for the Astros who are stacked. Jordan Weems. Dustin May. Daniel Bard. Ken Giles. Joshua Naylor. Crazy hair. Love it. And who do we got here? Ooh. Terry Man Trey Mancini. Hey. All right, Trey. I like this guy. I like, you look at his stats. A little bit all over the board there with his average. But man, this guy, I think he's super solid. He was in the All-Star game as well. Great comeback story for him. Yeah, like him. Ozzy Elbies. Followed by Juan Soto. Juan Soto is going to be all by himself now, man. He is... Man, I was I was kind of thinking that the Nas Nationals were going to, you know, trade... Sh I knew they were going to trade Scherzer. But I didn't think they were going to trade Trey Turner. You know, I thought they were going to try to extend him um, and just kind of center the team around Juan Soto and Trey Turner. That's like their future. But, nope. Uh, they decided to trade away Turner, and I think that was a good decision. They got um, Kiebert Ruiz and another good pitcher and some other prospects. So, um, I feel bad for Juan. He's left there alone, but I think he'll be fine as well. Zach Greinke. Ed Zubo Cabrera, Ed Zubo, Hunter Dozier, Dylan Cease, and Jorge Polanco for the PC. Yeah, let's see here. I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, I got three more packs, and I'm like half, four more packs, and I'm halfway done. And then I'll probably have to, um, Pause the video and open up the rest of the packs in another video, which is fine. I'm cool with that. Ryan Jeffers. I'm going to sleep up Ryan Jeffers just because I live in Minnesota. I don't really PC Jeffers, but um, I think I am. I'm going to start PCing Jeffers. I don't know why he's not on my list. Shirt and Apostle. I PC Shirtin as well. Like this guy a lot. He's got some potential. Followed by a Raphael Marcon, who I do not PC. Matt Foster, rookie card. JT Brubaker. Followed by Jose Leclerc. Then Tucker Barnhart. I think Tucker is pretty solid, right? He's been there for a while. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, he's like probably their main catcher. Tyler Glasnow. 
Greg Holland, man. Greg Holland's been around for a long time. Followed by a CJ Crone. I like Crone. He had a bad last year, but I mean, no one really cares about last year. But solid guy. Followed by Randy Arena, Dean Kremer. Ooh, Luis Arise. Lo I love Arise. Totally underrated. Look at that batting average, man. Everywhere he's gone, it's been really good. First two years of the Twins, super solid. Doesn't hit home runs, but, I mean, that's not why you really get him, right? You get him for his defense and... That batting average, right? Yeah. It goes into my PC. Andy Young. I like this guy. Hopefully he does well. David Fletcher and Jake Lamb. Oh, shoot. Why did I put my chrome over here? I need to sleeve this up. And I have not been updating my stands here uh, let's see who should go up there who should go up there maybe Trey Mancini maybe I'll leave I think I gotta put Cabrian up there yeah I think I'll put Riz and I'll put Cabrian there we go there we go all right, let's open up this next, next pack here. I got to hurry up. I'm ready at like 20 plus minutes. I got three more packs to go. Zach McKinstry. Did he get traded? I think he was part of a trade. Did he get traded to um the Nationals? I forget. Ovis Andrews. Followed by... TJ Anton, Keegan Aiken, Zach Gallen, Ryan Braun, Zach Gallen. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, he did really good last year. I wonder how he's doing this year. Ryan Braun. Trevor Rogers, all right, here we go. Trevor Rogers might win Rookie of the Year. Right? I mean, he's doing really good this year. Trevor Rogers. Michael Pineda for the PC. Enola Paredes. Followed by Nolan Arenado. Home Run Challenge Card. Bryce Harper, followed by Stephen Crichton, Aaron Nola, Austin Hedges. Our last two cards are Derek Dietrich and Jose Altuve. Man, if the Astros win a World Series, or win this World Series. Um, I don't know. Do we give them the respect they deserve? I mean, they, they, they still cheated. But, I mean, a World Series win is a World Series win, right? Yeah. Zach Birdie. This was uh, Jonathan Stevers. Tucker Davidson. Oh, man. Look at this, guys. Face, man, he's giving his all right there. Mark Mathis, Anthony Rendon, followed by James Paxton, David Peralta, Chris Bassett, Ronaldo Nunez, and there's our insert of hey, Fernando Tatis. Average exit velocity of 95.9. That's nice. Ooh, a Casey Mize rookie card. Very nice. What are these called? The uh, 65s? That's cool. I'll take that. 
And then we got Shohei Otani's catcher, Kurt Suzuki, Brad Keller, Randy Arena. I do PC Randy. So let's sleeve him up. I tend to sleeve up all the cards I PC. Michael Brantley, followed by AJ Puck. Yeah. Just want to see how he did last year, but he did not play. Oof, that's not good. Two injury years. Mm hmm. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully he does well. Hopefully he comes back and has a solid career. All right. So we'll do this last pack for this video. And then I'll pause it and start another one. Jojo Romero. Chris Davis. They didn't know he was on the Rangers. Okay. Chris Davis, Brent Rooker for the Minnesota Twins, who I will take and add to the PC. Rooker hit like, um, I think like a game winning home run last week. And he hit like three home runs in one game in AAA as well. Here's Tommy Pham. Yasmi Grandal, Shed Long, Carlos Santana, Yanni Chirinos. Oh my goodness, that is nice. Holy cow. Joe Adele, holy freaking cow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is nice. I mean, that is. Super nice. Let me check out the centering here. This is actually really well centered. Yeah, dude, that is nice. Wow. Wow. I'm actually going to put this in a top loader. Joe Adele, um, he'll get called up by the end of the year. I think he will. They need to give him some more experience. He is... Um, Destroying AAA. I think he's just hitting below average, but he is hitting lots and lots of home runs. This is my best card so far. So put that there and I'll move Riz over here. If he will go down there. We got Pedro Martinez. Awesome. I love Pedro. And Javi. Javi for the PC. I think Javi's going to end up going to the Mets. And, man, the Mets. What's going on with the Mets, man? They got to make some moves here. Or else they're just going to get... I mean, they're going to get destroyed by the Dodgers. The Mets are going to... They need, they need a lot of help there. Carpenter. Kyle Freeland. Scott Kingerly. And Nick Ahmed. So how many packs I got here? One, two, three, seven, eight. So I am halfway done. This video is about 30 minutes. And I am going to stop it here. And I'll make another video for the rest of the box here. All right. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.